All right, soccer fans, welcome into the final weekend of the Ontario Indoor Cup 2022. As you are tuned in to the live stream broadcast presented by Ontario Soccer. We have two matches on the docket today as we start with the under 16 girls Ontario Indoor Cup 2022 finals between Sioux City United in red and Aaron Mills in white. Number two, Alexa Rivero. Number three, Jakai Davis. Well, as was the case last week, we'll be playing two 25-minute halves, and if tied, we'll go straight to kicks from the spot. As we start with the Under-16 Girls Cup Final, and then finish off today's double header with the boys' Under-16 Final. The Ontario Indoor Cup is a young club competition in comparison to the Outdoor Cup which was first played in 1901. The Indoor Ontario Cup, the Indoor Cup began in 1987, and over the years it has moved from the boarded facilities to the former Sky Dome, and then to soccer-specific no board venues like we have here today at the Ontario Soccer Center Indoor Field. Should be a great match here between these two teams. You know, the popularity of the indoor game has resulted in a demand for the Ontario Indoor Cup in most age divisions. The level of participation has taken the competition from a centrally staged round-robin format to regional playdowns across the province, culminating with the final round hosted at the Ontario Soccer Centre in Bonn, which is where we're coming to you live from today. It's a chilly day outside. Actually, it's kind of nice compared to the recent cold spell we've had across southern Ontario. It's a little bit warmer today. A little bit overcast outside, but when the sun is shining through, providing a little bit of warmth on what has been a rather chilly winter. But the action about to heat up here inside the Ontario Soccer Centre indoor field as we get you set for the opening kickoff in the girls under 16. Ontario Indoor Cup Finals for 2022. Number 19, Sophia Fasso. Number 23, Isabella Fasso. So the starting rosters for both teams announced here in house. Coaches for these squads for Sioux City, it's Steve Mazuka, Joe Carbone as the assistant. Emily Cocomilio, the manager, and Anthony Pucci, the other assistant. Ivan Grant, Peter Ramos, the two coaches for Aaron Mills, Catherine Jasinski, the manager.
All right, soccer fans, let's get you set for the opening kickoff here in the girls under 16 Ontario Indoor Cup final as the two teams head to center for the coin toss. Again, Sioux City will be wearing red jerseys, white numbering on the back, black shorts, black socks with a little bit of yellow trim on the cuff up top of the socks. And for Aaron Mills, their traditional white kits, green numbering, black shorts, black socks. And of course, a little bit of green trim on the predominantly white jerseys. Joanna Mazier, the starting keeper for Aaron Mills. And it looks like it'll be Talia Hopkin getting the start for Sioux City. A couple of signs over top the Sioux City bench. It looks like it's a player from their team missing today because of injury, number 21, Viviana Merlino. As one of the signs saying, missing you, and then a big number 21. So I think that's fair for me to make that connection, but. Hopefully for Sioux City, the lack of Merlino in the lineup won't prove too costly. Both teams get their last bit of strategy from the bench. The starting five head out to the pitch as we get set for the opening kickoff. A reminder that no throw-ins here in the indoor game. Kick-ins played from ball out of possession and penalties can be issued. So you can get a power play here. But right now we start even strength. Opening minutes of the match about to get underway and it'll be Aaron Mills kicking us off with their captain, Ja'Kaya Davis. And we're underway here in the girls under 16 Ontario Indoor Cup 2022 Finals. Aaron Mills moving left to right across your screen. As a reminder that with Hub International Insurance Brokers, we have a partner today to support us as we prepare for tomorrow and who will help protect us what matters most when we get there. Because the truth is tomorrow is a gift and Hub wants us to be ready for it. Find out more at hubinternational.com. Nice hustle along the sideline by Molly Watson. Check that, it's, she's got Colin on the, yeah, it is Jada Colin for Aaron Mills. She couldn't quite keep it in. And it'll be possession to Sue along the near side touchline. That ball not finding anyone in red, it'll go right out across and Aaron Mills will get the goal kick as Mazier gets set to put the ball back in play. Short from the goal kick, they build up along the far flank, playing it into the middle for Castile. She turns it back. As nice work there by Sydney Little to take the space granted. Nice through ball into the penalty area. Shot, and that one just went wide as Ja'Kaya Davis with that chance for Aaron Mills. And their captain nearly opening up the scoring in the first minute of this match. So that ball trickled just wide to the far post. Nice job by Castillo to pick off the Sioux City goal kick as Colin carries it up here. The right back stepping into an attacking position. Oh, what a goal! Jadea Colin with an individual effort that was truly brilliant. She took the space in front of her Stepped up to a right-footed strike just outside the penalty area, pulled it off the post and in for the one nothing lead for Aaron Mills. Just the second minute of play and Colin gets the opening goal for Aaron Mills. Let's see how Sioux City respond now as Levick chasing after it, but she runs into two defenders and now it's Colin playing it up the pitch as it's controlled by Davis. Nice turn and burn past the defender. Davis 
pulls back, stepping over and looking for a passing outlet. Finds one in Castillo. She has to track right in front of the Sioux City bench to keep it alive in possession as they work it back through Little, now on the near side with Colin. Her pass intended for Davis off a defender and possession out for Aaron Mills. Jadea Call in the goal scorer for Aaron Mills, carrying it up, right-footed cross. That one tracks across the face of goal and out along the far touchline. And Sioux City will make some wholesale changes here. Five on, five off, and we'll see if the second unit can find a little more production. Right-footed ball. Initially picked off, but Sue quickly get it back as Hammond had played it up. It's now controlled by Little for Aaron Mills, pulling to her right foot, stepping on it and trying to set up a one-time attempt. It goes off the defender and out for an Aaron Mills corner. Nice goal front presence provided by Aaron Mills as I believe it was Blair will confirm that as Colin will take the corner kick. Castillo at the near post. Ball played through, no one can get a foot to it and it's out for Sioux City possession. Olivia Blair was the Aaron Mills player who provided the initial chance there. She had the ball skip past her, Castillo gets to it, laying it off for Collin, Judea Collin, touching over to Davis. Her left-footed shot off the defender, ricocheting off the foot of Mazuka, and out for another corner. So Aaron Mills showing some good energy early on in this match as we played nearly five minutes. And it's Aaron Mills in white leading 1-0 over Sioux City in the red and black, black striped jerseys. The near post corner, Colin picks it up. Starts to dribble back to open up space. Lays it off for Davis. Nice one-two with Colin as she got it right back to her. Oh, off the post. Great chance as Blair got a toe to it. Castillo shot and a big save there by Talia Hopkin. That was a good save by Hopkin after the earlier chance was thwarted by the post, but some good pressure by Aaron Mills. And now Aaron Mills will make some... Wholesale changes by the looks of it. I think everyone went off. Yep, five on, five off. And a great opening five minutes of the match for that top unit of Aaron Mills. Now they work along the near flank. Cahill tries to cross one in. The initial shot blocked. Still battling for it with Saleh. As Sioux City do well to clear the danger. Unable to catch it and keep it in was Sophia Fada and now it's a kick in for Aaron Mills as they play it to the near side. Ella Cahill is, she has it wrestled off of her foot. Pucci picking it up now for Sue. She's backed in by Sala. Centering attempt, good job by Hopkin to dive off her line and pick off that ball intended for Cahill. Oh, awkward bounce over the defender and then just putting it wide was Sophia Fada as it was a misread there by Adungu as she misplayed the bounce and fortunately for the Aaron Mills keeper, Mazier, Sophia Fata was unable to corral that fast bouncing ball. Adungu, she plays it ahead for Cahill. Cahill, right footed cross in but easily picked off by the keeper, Hopkin. She goes for the long drop kick and again, tries to send Fata on the run. Good defensive work there by Stavropoulos as she runs her out of bounds and it'll be possession to Sioux City. From the kick, Aaron Mills able to take possession. Salah with a bit of a heavy touch and that one goes out for a Sioux City kick in. Bit of 
hesitation as Sue making a couple of changes up front. The ball played in and picked off. Sue quickly able to get possession back as Hammond playing it forward. Nice job by Robinson Schreier. She then tries to open up on the outlet, but the pass too heavy coming off the foot of Carbone and it's out for a goal kick. Stavropopoulos playing it ahead. Sale looking for an option. Finds Cahill running into the box. Nice defending. Good close down by Mazuka. She stays right with Cahill. What a shot. Better save as Hopkin took a little bit of exception to the contact from Cahill after she made the save. And cooler heads prevail, but a couple of big stops in the last couple moments from Talia Hopkin, the Sioux City keeper keeping this game at 1-0. Aaron Mills working it through the back line as the keeper, Maziero, opens one up for Adengua. She tracks past the first challenge presented by Hinich and then a subsequent foul coming seconds later, Carbone with that challenge. And Adengua will take the free kick here for Aaron Mills. Playing it ahead for Sale, who let the dummy go thinking Cahill would catch it, but it's out for a goal kick. Sucidi will make some wholesale changes here. As we approach the 10 minute mark of the match. Again, two 25-minute halves here in the girls under 16 Ontario Indoor Cup 2022 finals. And it's currently Aaron Mills with a 1-0 lead. The goal coming in the opening minutes of play on a brilliant individual effort by Jadea Collin. Abouye unable to keep Isabella Fata in check there. Nice job by Sioux City as they try to play it back for Fata, but the pass from Elizabeth Gavi a little bit off mark, and now Aaron Mills in possession by way of their back line. Arengua. Plays it ahead, Sale running onto it, but tracks out and it'll be possession to Sioux City. Aaron Mills getting set to make some wholesale changes. Two Sioux City players standing at the half getting set to check in as well. Cahill with the defensive presence there, knocking it out. Well, Merlino takes the kick, so she's here. And I'm not sure what that 21 on the signage refers to there because Viviana Merlino is in the game and she just took that kick in. As Sioux City have possession, side out in the attacking third. Let's see what they do here. Good driving ball to the near post and a smart save by Joanna Mazier. She had to be on her toes ready for that chance. Would not have counted had it gone straight in from the kick in, but still good goalkeeping there by one of the two Aaron Mills co-captains in the keeper, Mazier. As Adengue takes it ahead. Nice tackle coming in with the challenge was Levick and now it could create a chance for Sue, but that pass off the foot of Gabby out and Sioux City will get a quick kick in here. As Liz Gabby plays it ahead, but it's nicely blocked by Ivana Abouye playing a ball up to Marisala. She's looking for Cahill, making the run up the near flank. She's gonna catch this one as she toes it in around the touchline. Nice job to pull it back here. Abouye thinking shot, teeing up the right footed strike and a good save there by Hopkin who got just enough to ensure that one went over top the bar out for the corner. But you gotta like that composure there by Ivana Abouye who recognized the space and time she had. She really stepped into that chance. 
Well, Toronto FC is the official founding premier partner of Ontario Soccer, as well as the presenting partner for the Ontario Player Development League, the province's youth high performance league. As the corner taken short, Davis buries it, what a goal! Oh, tremendous execution. Jadea Collin takes the corner. And Jakaya Davis steps up with power and poise to give Aaron Mills the 2-0 lead. So the captain for Aaron Mills, number three, Jakaya Davis, getting the second goal in this game, and it's a 2-0 lead for the Peel region team. As Davis on the ball once again for Aaron Mills, finds Collin on the overlap. She's got room to take it in, cross low, a scramble, Davis, left-footed strike gets blocked. Blair with a chance, that's blocked. It ricochets right to Collins. She pulls it back, looking for a passing option. Finds one in Castile, but it's actually closer to Davis, so she'll take it. And Aaron Mills will slow things down through the back line. Well, as I was saying about Toronto FC, their commitment to the game in Ontario is truly unrivaled. Visit torontofc.com for tickets and more. As Hopkin plays that one out across the half. Little gets to it first for Aaron Mills. Collin with good control pulls it down. She gets clipped and that'll be a free kick for the team in white. Well, that was a really well executed corner that led to that second goal by Aaron Mills. A set play that they've clearly been training on. Collin with the low cross and Davis providing the nearly impossible run to cover and Davis all alone stepped into it and my goodness, the power she had on that shot, Hopkins had no chance. Castillo plays it to Collin, fakes the cross, pulls to her left, now drops it back to Castillo, tries to evade the check, oh what a goal! Are you kidding me? That was phenomenal, Yasmin Castillo. Bend it like Castillo. She curved that one off the post and in. From our vantage point, that looked like it was tracking wide and then pulled it back. It's three, nothing Aaron Mills. As we're only in the 14th minute of play. Phenomenal stuff here. As you're tuned in to the 2022 Ontario Indoor Cup Finals in the girls under 16 division. Aaron Mills play it back to the keeper, Mazier. She opts to go short for Collin. As she gets closed down, nice defensive work there by Emily Robinson Schreier as she wins possession for Sioux City. Hammond gets set to take the kick in. She plays one towards the penalty area, goes off the Sioux attacker. Robinson Schreier in possession to Aaron Mills. Well, Ontario soccer values fair play, and we share this common passion with our partners from Respect in Sport, the leading e-learning platform for the prevention of bullying, abuse, harassment, and discrimination. Learn more about their programs and start your Respect education journey today at respectgroupinc.com. Aaron Mills are demanding respect right now as Davis with her second goal of the half. And it's four, nothing. Jakaya Davis received the pass, turned and let it fly. Nice work along the far flank as the service coming from Olivia Blair. She did well to carry it up much of the sideline before playing it ahead for Davis. And once Davis got into the penalty area, there was no stopping her. And right now it looks like there's no stopping Aaron Mills because here goes Davis again and that shot off the defender out for a corner. So we'll see if Aaron Mills can capitalize on another corner. Their second goal of this match coming off a corner from the same area with the same kicker over top the ball as Colin gets set 
to play it in. She plays it short looking for Davis, but that time the defenders read it well as Simona Mazuka there with the interception. Colin once again trying to play it along the floor, but easy work there for the defenders. We'll see if Aaron Mills switch it up here. Castillo providing a short, easy play, and they opt to use her. Castillo touches to Blair, looks for the overlap. Castillo, she had that beautiful curve goal. That was number three of the half, and that time a good effort by Mazuka on the defensive end of the side for Sue when they win possession in front of their own bench. A little bit of debate whether that came in. It looked like it did as Blair takes it for Aaron Mills. Castillo receives the pass, lays off for Colin as she looks to take the defender on. Bit of a heavy touch trying to hit Davis in stride and it's out for a goal kick. So, so far here in the girls under 16 Ontario Indoor Cup 2022 finals, it's been all Aaron Mills as they lead this match 4 nothing. Let's see how Sue respond as Kiara Levick laying it off. Mazuka playing it ahead, trying to pick out the runner there in Gavi, but it's too far out of her range and out for an Aaron Mills kicking in front of their own bench. Aaron Mills will make some changes. As from the side out possession, they go back to the keeper. Yasmin Baines playing it back to Joanna Miser as she plays it out for her defender. And they look to work that far touch line, the ball traveling out. As Jada Ramos was there in coverage and Sioux City will have to retake that kick. The ball was in motion. So Mazuka gets set to kick it in. Thunder six minutes remaining in the half. Ball went off of her player. Now it's controlled by Saleh for Aaron Mills. She funds Cahill in stride on the overlap. Shot and that one goes off the side netting out for a goal kick. But Aaron Mills continue to put wave after wave of attacking threats towards the Sioux City goal and even when they go for their second unit there's no letdown with that two-headed attack provided by Salah and Cahill and of course their top unit Davis already striking twice in this match Fata she plays it out wide for her sister Sophia it was Isabella with the initial touch and Sophia unable to keep it in along the touchline it's out for possession to Aaron Mills. Played short to the keeper, Mazier. Baines, head up, looking for an option. She pulls it back over to her defensive partner, Lombana. She nearly picked out Ramos with the pass, but it skid under her foot and out for a Sioux City kick. Isabella Fata taking on Yasmin Baines. Baines gets the better of that exchange. But the ball tracks out and it'll be a kick in for Sioux City. Just outside the attacking third, a chance to play something in. As looking for an option at the far post, but Nothing doing, Sophia Fata, all she could do is watch it go over her head. And a nice idea there by Levick, but the execution just lacking. Lazier plays short to Baines from the goal kick, goes back to her keeper and then touches for Lombana. She's got space to carry it ahead and she does. Ends up coughing it up and this could be a chance as Isabella Fata running onto it, shot right on, big save by Mazier. Fata able to chase down her own rebound. Looking for an option, Saleh, the attacker, coming all the way back to make that defensive play. 
And even though it was a bit of a scramble moment for Aaron Mills, they're able to breathe a little bit easier after the big save by Joanna Mazier. Good opportunity there for Sioux City as it was led by both Sophia Fata and Isabella Fata. The two sisters nearly creating, well they did create a goal scoring opportunity, nearly striking for Sioux City. Unfortunately the subsequent kick in, bit of a waste and it's out for an Aaron Mills goal kick with under three minutes remaining in the first half of play. As you're tuned in to the 2022 Ontario Indoor Cup Finals, we've got two feature mo uh, bro broadcasts on today's uh, schedule as the two matches we are featuring are the under 16 girls final and the under 16 boys finals. Salah running onto it crosses, but that one tracks out for a goal kick. Hopkin, the keeper, playing the goal kick. It was a bit of a low drive, but Sioux City battling for possession. It's off the foot of Gavi and out for an Aaron Mills kick. Arangua playing it over to Cahill. Cahill's got a runner in Saleh, picks her out, nice through ball as she gets closed down immediately by Molly Watson and that's out for an Aaron Mills corner. Good crowd on hand once again here at the Ontario Soccer Centre Indoor Stadium as nice to see a bit of return to normalcy with fans in the stands. It's from the corner. Nice defensive work by Sioux City. They clear the ball all the way up the pitch and Abuya trying to shield it for her keeper, Mazir, who was slow to come off her line. A little bit of miscommunication there between the defender and keeper, but no harm done. As Mazir drops it and plays it out. Stavropopoulos picking out Cahill with the pass. That one too heavy and it's out for a goal kick. Talia Hopkin, goal kick picked off by Stavropopoulos. She quickly loses possession to McKnight. As McKnight battling for it for Sioux City, but Stavropopoulos with a bit of a stronger effort and then it ricochets off of the Aaron Mills player out for a Sioux City kick in. Good ball towards the penalty area as Fata has to try control it here. Actually check that, that's Martina Pucci. As she does well to Hold her ground, but the ball traveling just across the touchline. It's out. Possession to Aaron Mills. <coughs> Final few seconds of the half, ticking off the clock. And at the break, it's going to be Aaron Mills for Sioux City United nil. Today's Ontario Cup action is fueled by Gatorade. Rehydrate replenish and refuel during halftime. And folks, we'll have the second half action coming up next as you're watching a Ontario Soccer live stream presentation. It begins with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. What will tomorrow look like? Will it be what you expected? Or something you never could have predicted? 
Will it be frightening or exciting? Is it the reason you can't sleep at night or the reason you get up in the morning? Tomorrow will be all of these things. With Hub, you have a partner today who supports you as you write your tomorrow. And we will protect you when you get there. Because the truth is, tomorrow is a gift. And we want you to be ready for it. The Active Start course is for anyone involved in soccer who wants to better support a child ages three and four years old. Those taking the course will learn how to engage children through soccer with age-appropriate, fun and safe soccer activities. The aim of these soccer activities is to become familiar with a soccer ball while being in a child-friendly environment and connecting with a significant adult in their life. Come be a part of helping kids fall in love with the game. All right, soccer fans, let's get you set for the second half kickoff as you're tuned into the 2022 Ontario Indoor Cup. It's the girls under 16 finals. And a big thank you to Ontario soccer partner, Soccer Express, for their first class support. As Canada's premier soccer apparel and equipment dealer, Soccer Express has everything needed to take your game to the next level. Visit SoccerX.com to check out the latest gear from Adidas, Nike, Puma, Admiral and more as Sioux City kick us off for the second half action. They move left to right across your screen wearing the red jerseys with black striping. And it was a tough first half for Sioux City surrendering four goals against. And they trail this match four nothing to Aaron Mills. But a new half, a new opportunity as Watson plays it into the penalty area and just making, missing the flick on was Sophia Fada. Castillo challenging there defensively. Sioux City trying to start on a positive for the second half. And right now they've got promising possession as Sofia Fata crosses into the area. And oh, Isabella just missed on that attempt, sweeping her right foot through the ball and just fanning on it. Mazier had come off her line to challenge. But a good opening sequence for Sioux City to begin the second half of action. Sophia Fata lost possession. Now it's controlled by Jakaya Davis, the Aaron Mills captain. She turns and burns on her defender, pulls to her right, draws it over for Colin, looking for a left-footed strike. That gets blocked and cleared to the near line and out for an Aaron Mills kick in. Jakaya Davis continues to be a handful for the Sioux City back line. Nearly impossible to contain. Colin receiving the pass from Blair from the kick in. Gets past the first challenge, crosses in, and there's the hat trick! Jakaya Davis with her third of the match, and it's 5 0. As Aaron Mills strike just two minutes into the second half of play. And Jakaya Davis, number three for Aaron Mills, with. Despite looking a little flat-footed to start, end up with an opportunity and they take full advantage as the Sioux City bench now having a couple choice words with a player injured behind the play. As I believe it's Sarah Hammond, the injured Sioux City player. Hopefully nothing serious there for the defender. Good 
to see Hammond able to get up and walk off somewhat under her own power. So we'll restart the action here with a drop ball as Blair ends up whiffing on the back pass and trying to take advantage was Robinson Schreier, but the lone attacker there for Sioux City and possession goes to Aaron Mills. Keep an eye on Hammond on the Sioux City bench who seems to be favoring her right ankle. She gets the ice pack applied to it. Davis on the back of Mazuka. Hopkin, the Sioux City keeper, clearing that one out. The ball traveling out, and it'll be possession to Aaron Mills along the near touchline. Sydney Little gets set to kick it in. She goes back to her keeper. As Mazier hasn't been tested too much in this match, but she has made a couple of timely saves. Colin now carrying it ahead for Aaron Mills. She just missed touch that one and loses possession, is now coming up with it as Robinson Schreier. She tries to dribble around Colin, and then Little there for the extra defensive support knocks it out of play. That ball tight to the touchline and it curls out so Aaron Mills will get the kick in. Someone just walked by us with french fries and that smells amazing. <laughs> it's been an amazing match so far for Aaron Mills. They lead this one 5-0. And that young woman right there, Ja'Kaya Davis, a big reason why. She's got three of the five goals for Aaron Mills. Castillo touching ahead for Blair. Nice job to dribble in tight quarters. Her subsequent pass just out of the range of Colin. It was Judea Colin who opened the scoring back in the third minute of play. And since then, Aaron Mills have not let up. Castillo has added one as well. And now Davis all alone with the keeper to her left foot. Big save by Hopkins. That's a clutch save by Hopkins. Davis was working for her fourth of the match. But that time denied one-on-one -on -one with the Sioux City keeper. And now Sioux looking for a counterattack. The ball played up as Pucci tries to pull it back, but Martina Pucci unable to catch it. And it's out for a goal kick. Both teams will make some substitutions here. as Mazier plays it short to Lombana. Arengua finds Cahill up the right flank, pulls it back. Arengua receiving the pass, right-footed strike, nice block there as stepping into it was Merlino. Sue trying to get a counter, quick strike, but it's snuffed out. Nice defensive work that time by Jada Ramos. Arengua. Ramos making the run, but that ball too far out of her range and possession to Sioux City. From the kick in, Sue able to hold possession through the midfield as that one ricochets off the shin of Sofia Fada and tracks out for an Aaron Mills kick in. Lombana carrying it ahead now for the Eagles as it ricochets off the Leg of Lebeck and out for an Aaron Mills Eagle kick in. As 
Aaron Mills working that far touch line. Salad tries to hold it in, but across the yellow boundary, and it's possession now to Sioux City. Well, you can feel a bit of the wind has been let out of the Sioux City sail. They've had a strong start to the match in terms of the second half, at least. They came out with good energy and created a couple of threatening opportunities, but then just minutes after that, Aaron Mills opened them up defensively and put in a fifth goal, and that's really kind of taken some energy out of Sioux City here in the second half because, again, the first two minutes they looked strong. But then Aaron Mills responding with a quick goal as Davis picking up the hat trick. It's been tough sledding since for Sioux City, but good work there by Fata as it was Sophia Fata fighting through the challenge. Her and her sister Isabella with a bit of a tiff, nothing doing as Cahill takes it ahead now for Aaron Mills. Her pass picked off by Sophia Fata. Isabella takes it now. Steps over, loses the ball to Arangua. She tries to feed it needling through for Saleh, but that's easily controlled by the keeper. Hopkin, who then drop kicks it right into Saleh, and she had to be quick to get it back. Arangua touching ahead for Saleh, looking to turn and burn her defender. Nice overlap, Cahill running onto it. That one may have gone out and on the cross, it definitely went out, so a goal kick for Sioux City as they'll make a couple of changes here. Mazier, check that, that was Hopkin, the keeper for Sioux City playing it out. As the ball ricocheting, Robinson Schreier able to hold possession. Lombana closing her down defensively. As tight to the goal line, Mazir comes right off her line and that's a corner kick. She tried to fool the official, but nice job by the referee and a good solo effort on offense there by Kiara Levick to create the corner for Sioux City. Delivers the cross along the ground, ricochets off a couple of legs. Sue still putting pressure on as Aaron Mills now clear to the half. Lavota, she's under pressure here by Saleh, and that one off of the Sioux City defender, Matea Glavota, and it'll be possession of Aaron Mills. Well, new this year, the Dairy Farmers of Ontario, representing Ontario's 3,400 dairy producers and their families, has joined Ontario Soccer as a community partner and the exclusive title partner of the Milk Up Ontario Soccer Future Leaders Program. This program is based on three pillars of celebration, recognition, and development to support Ontario soccer youth leaders. Check out ontariosoccer.net, where the deserving 2021 Milk Up Future Leaders Class of 21 has been recently announced. Sydney Little from the kick-in, playing it back to her keeper, who returns it to Little. Right back to Mazier, the keeper, as she looks up the field, has to return it to Little. Closed down, this could be a tense situation, but nice job by Little defensively. And now Castillo carrying it ahead on the overlap. She's closed down by Watson, Castillo still with possession, switching it up to the far flank where Colin takes it. Davis, one, two with Colin. Right footed strike, big save, as Hopkin parries that one out. And Aaron Mills will get the kick in along the sideline. Great save that time by Talia Hopkin. Good build up by Aaron Mills. And some touch passing led to that chance. Colin with the run. They go short to Davis. She dummies it because Steele couldn't get to it. Now a chance for Sue to potentially turn it up the field as the Sioux City player Robinson Schreier couldn't hold it against Little and quickly it's controlled now by Colin. Playing ahead for Davis. Davis working wide, finds Colin making the run. She tries to pull it back. Nice job to get around the defender. Oh, right along the carpet that cross came in. No one there in white to get a toe to it. A little less than 13 minutes of match time remaining here. 
as we've got one more feature match on today's broadcast. As at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, we will have the boys under 16 2022 Ontario Cup Indoor Final. Nice, oh, I thought Pucci had kept that in. It just tracked out. And possession to Aaron Mills. Little goes to her keeper, Mazier, who goes back to the defender. The two Aaron Mills players content just to keep ball in possession, not forcing anything. As Castillo receiving the pass from Mazier and loses it subsequently to Pucci. Shielding it, that's some miscommunication there between the back line for Sue. As Davis trying to work her way in front, but that time Hopkins comes off her line to collect the loose ball. Nice work there by Gavey as she did well to corral that high bouncing ball. Pucci playing it to the far touch line as McKnight tries to hold it in. Tight to the goal line and that tracks out for a goal kick. Nice work by Castillo to shield that one out. Short goal kick, Collin goes right back to the keeper. Not a lot of movement off the ball. Mazier plays it ahead now for Davis. Up 5 nothing with 11 minutes remaining. Aaron Mills looking just to lock this win down. As Colin with some fancy dribbling. Blair with the one-timer and that one wide of the goal. But a nice opportunity there for Olivia Blair. Blair setting up one of the goals in the first half a nice cross as Hopkins plays the goal kick out Sally back into the match now for Aaron Mills she corrals it through the midfield plays ahead for Davis Davis looking to open up a lane nothing doing that time good defensive work uh, stepping into it was Elizabeth Gavey and Aaron Mills quickly get possession back Sally long range attempt that one just went wide of the target as Hopkin dove to her right full extension, but a little too much curl on that kick from Saleh, and it's out for a goal kick. 10 minutes even remaining here in the second half of action as you're tuned in to the under 16 girls 2022 Ontario Indoor Cup Finals. Sioux City United trailing five nothing to Aaron Mills Eagles as Sioux City working the ball around now. Into the attacking third. Pucci trying to bowl her way through. There's a shot, there's a goal! How about that? No quit. And Sofia Fata is rewarded for her effort as number 19 for Sioux City gets their first of the match late here. 9.25 remaining. And it's Sofia Fata who gets the goal to make it 5-1. Let's see how Aaron Mills respond. A little bit of shock that Fata got through and was able to convert on that opportunity. But still with a four goal lead and under 10 minutes to play, Aaron Mills should be able to lock this down. It would be an incredible comeback if Sioux City find a way to equalize here. That ball travels out, it's a goal kick. As Joanna Mazier, the Aaron Mills keeper, gets set to play it in. Little. Saleh, who's been playing in an attacking role much of this game, she's now in the left back position. As Davis wins the ball for Aaron Mills. Colin providing the option from the side out. Steps around the first challenge, lays it to Davis. Back to Collin, and she buries it to get the five goal lead back. Her second of the match. It's a brace. And Jadea Collin for Aaron Mills makes it 6-1.
Well, Judea Collin opened up the scoring, and here she provides the last tally, the most recent tally, and retaining the five goal spread for Aaron Mills as they lead six to one. With less than seven and a half minutes remaining in the second half, as you're tuned into the Ontario Indoor Cup under 16 girls final for 2022. Little stepping up and taking possession now for the Eagles. As she works that far touch line, Sydney Little stepping over, playing ahead for Davis. Davis finds Colin with the back heel. She dances around the defender, laying it now for Davis. Colin gets it back. Little providing an option, but Isabella Fata reading that nicely and coming in for the interception. And then a Foul on the attempt from Little on Fata, no advantage. Nice refereeing there, and it'll be a free kick for Sioux City. Sioux City with possession from the kick as Watson trying to pick out a player on the second attempt. It's picked off by Colin. And now here goes Aaron Mills as Salad jumps into the attack here. Salad with her right foot through the five hole and she puts it in. It's 7 1 as Mira Salad gets a beautiful goal there for the Aaron Mills Eagles. Well, Sports Engine is the official technology partner of Ontario Soccer and the leading provider of sport relationship management software for youth and amateur sports. Check out sportsengine.com backslash solutions to see how they can help keep your club running in stride on and off the pitch this season. It'll be a kick in for Aaron Mills as they play it back to the keeper. And then Cahill immediately closed down. So they'll start again with side out possession. As the outcome of this one no longer in question really is it's a 7-1 lead for Aaron Mills. And it's all but a formality at this point. Here in the 2022 under 16 girls Ontario Indoor Cup final. As Pucci stepping into it and trying to get a shot away but immediately closed down. She's hustling back for possession and does well to win a kick in for Sioux City. As Pucci playing it to the penalty area, flicked on! And Gavey just missing with that volley. I'll give Sioux City credit. They continue to play until the final whistle and they're looking for opportunities and they nearly created a little bit of magic on that one. Mazier playing it short to Colin from the goal kick and actually check that. That's Ebuye there in the yellow boots. As Cahill does well to trap it and work it into the middle of the pitch is Stavropoulos. They feed it ahead now for Ramos. Tries to step around the defender. Left footed strike. Good save by Talia Hopkin as she parries that out. And it'll be a corner kick. Well soon another deserving team will engrave their name into Ontario Cup history and receive their medals and hoist the beautiful Ontario Cup trophy created by Nothers, the awards store. For more than 50 years, Nothers, the awards store has been a leading supplier of awards and recognition products across Ontario, offering complete assistance from program concept planning all the way to product delivery. See how they can help your organization at nothers.com. Abuya stepping over, makes the pass. Stavropoulos, Cahill trying to step around her defender, does well to keep it in along the touch line as 
eventually it tracks out and possession to Sioux City. From the kick in, nothing much doing for Sioux City as Aaron Mills defending nicely. Abouye. All the way back to the keeper, Mazier. Cahill. Working the touchline, carrying it ahead here. Arangua tries to feed it ahead for Abouye, but that one traveling out for a goal kick and the final couple minutes of play ticking off the clock. It's been a dominant performance today from the 2006 Aaron Mills Eagles Green Squad. They opened the scoring back in the third minute of play, courtesy and effort from Jadea Collin. And really, they haven't looked back since they led at the halftime break 4 nothing. They started the second half just three minutes in with a goal for Ja'Kia Davis, her third of the match. As Cahill tracking in, big save there by Hopkin, but she lost her boundary. She's outside of her area and handling it. That's okay. It's still a good save there by Hopkins. She will be assessed the yellow card, and as a result, they'll be short-handed here for the final minute of play. Penalty issued, but good goalkeeping there from Talia Hopkins, fearlessly charging off her line to make that save. Just 30 seconds remaining on the game clock. All free kicks here in the Indoor Cup are indirect free kicks, so someone will have to touch the ball for an attempt on goal to count. You cannot put it in directly. Final 10 seconds of the match. They play it to Cahill. Her right-footed shot. That one goes wide. And the crowd applauses the effort from both squads. The final whistle and buzzer sound. And the Aaron Mills Eagles are your 2022 under 16 girls Ontario Indoor Cup champions. Congratulations, ladies. The final score in this one, Aaron Mills 7, Sioux City United 1. Folks, thank you for tuning in to today's action. Remember, we've got one more game on the docket today, 1.30 p.m. Eastern in the boys' under-16 Ontario Indoor Cup Finals. And thank you again to our proud partners for today's event, our broadcast partners, Hub International Insurance Brokers, our premier partners, Toronto FC, and our community partners, the Dairy Farmers of Ontario, as well as Respect in Sport, Soccer X, Sports Engine, Gatorade, and Nothers, the award store. Folks, we'll see you at 1.30 p.m. for the boys under 16 final. Thanks for tuning in. This has been an Ontario Soccer live stream broadcast.